basically what we want to do is use technology uh, and uh, information to provide it to our staff and students so that they can make an educated decision about what's going on and get students out of the building. If they're unable to get students out of the building, what we want them to do is use the information to provide it to uh, determine where they secure their classrooms with a barricade, locking themselves in, securing them as best they can. In the unfortunate incident that an intruder does breach that classroom, we want to arm them with the abilities and the skills to disarm and counter that intruder's efforts to kill them. And at that point, we would hold the intruder down and take the gun away and notify the police. Teachers and students, lockdown. We are in lockdown. There is an active shooter in the building. Further information will come soon. Go to lockdown. The shooter is in the math hallway. Hey, jerk, what are you doing in our school? We're looking for you! Where you at? Come out, come out, wherever you are! The shooter is in the stairwell going toward the English hallway on the second floor. Our teachers were uh, very impressed from what I've seen. I think they know now what to expect in a stressful situation, a fluid situation where they don't know where the shooter is, but then we provide them with information and they can make an accurate decision on how to take care of their students and themselves. The shooter is in the English hallway near the science hallway. We truly believe by giving our teachers and students the ability to make a decision based on information to evacuate, we're going to have survivors that may not have survived if we had an active shooter in the building. Uh, we know through data, unfortunately through data, that when we lock kids in a classroom and have them wait for a decision that the office is going to make, that if a shooter gets in there, they're in there for one reason, and that's to kill people. They're not there to rob, they're not there to steal, they're, they're not, they don't want money, they want a life. And we want to take that out of the equation. So, uh, and, and uh, I think giving them an option to leave or barricade to prevent this from happening is huge. And we've never done that before and that's why I'm such an advocate of it.